Hi, uh, I wanted to tell you a nice uh, interesting story about common source amplifiers. Um, what happened was a few scientists were at a table brainstorming as to how we could increase the gain of a common source amplifier. And we know from our previous lectures that this is what a common source amplifier looks like. And here's your V out, and here's the RD. And from the gain equation, and after looking at a lot of uh, trade-offs and, and benefits and advantages and stuff like that, we came to a conclusion that it is best to have a higher RD. Of course, right now we're ignoring channel length modulation, um, so don't don't worry about that for now. Just just think that it's not present and so increasing RD would give us a better uh, gain right so that's that's what we all know so the scientists were sitting brainstorming and this wise scientist suddenly stands up and says hey I have a design in mind and they said okay go on and he explains the best part about electrical engineering is everything is intuitive as I told you before so he intuitively came up with the design and he explained how to them so he says all right guys let's look at the IV curve first I V and um, to the people who are watching this I hope you've watched the lecture on MOSFET IV characteristics basics um, it'll help you um, follow this better and we know that this line the vertical line is the voltage source line so no matter what current present in the circuit the voltage is constant okay likewise we have a current source no matter what voltage you apply your current is going to be constant okay and this is the resistance line okay resistance so he goes on to explain that the slope of any line on an XY curve uh, on an XY axis is given by the tan of the angle it makes with the x-axis right suppose your resistance makes 45 degrees the slope of the resistance line is tan 45 degrees is which is 1 okay let's derive the slope of the voltage line the voltage line makes source line makes 90 degrees with the voltage axis or the x-axis which gives you tan 90 which is infinity and if you look at the current source it makes zero angle with the x-axis it's parallel to the x-axis right so what you have for the current source line is tan zero degrees is zero so the slope of that line is zero he goes on to say that slope is given by y coordinate over x coordinate right so for this curve it is current over voltage which is the inverse of resistance correct therefore resistance is inverse of slope take some time to understand this fact okay you can pause this video and understand that first and then we can go ahead so he says because resistance is 1 over slope and 1 over 0 is infinity I will have infinite resistance if I use a current source in my common source amplifier design and everybody went oh wow that's amazing how and he says all right the design looks like this he says in place of RD I'm gonna have the current source V out and this is say I and this is VDD current because the current source has infinite resistance he says now GM times infinity is gonna give me a huge huge gain and the MOSFET says whoa hold on just a second there it doesn't really mean that no matter what resistance you um, subject me to I will give you that many times the gain that's never happening so what the MOSFET says is, all right, wise guy, 
you gave me so much resistance to tolerate, I'm not going to do it. I resist. I'm just not going to do it. So what the MOSFET does is, he says, all I'm going to do is not navigate huge mountains of resistance. And now that you've put an infinite resistance, I just cannot navigate through it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my own little output resistance and give you only that much gain. So the MOSFET says, if you play wise with me, I'm smarter than you, right? Of course, all these are um, have been derived and scientifically proved now, but it is that if you put a current source there uh, at the drain of the MOSFET and expect it to give you a huge gain, that's never happening. So what is going to happen is the MOSFET is going to give you a gain with only its output resistance in consideration. And this gain, this AV, is called intrinsic gain of the MOSFET. Okay, Intrinsic gain is the maximum gain achievable from a single device. Okay, so um, what was I going to say? So that's what's important here for us to understand. But of course, this design where he says include, including a current source to the MOSFET um, gives us a huge gain. Of course, this idea opens up a lot of doors for us to uh, probe further this idea and probably include some other devices to improve uh, gain. But the current source alone will not work. Okay, So that's what I wanted to tell you. It's a pretty interesting story. All right. Um, so I'll see you in the next lecture. Thanks. Bye.